Okay, playing as black here. So, longer game. 20 minute game. We're both blitzing out moves. Okay, so nice steady away, just going for Castle. Just trying to open up the center. Oh, it's not gone for it. That might have cost them a small tempi, I'm not sure. Let's grab. See if not can get the queens off the board. His knight could take pawn quick. He's got options. So the knight does take. So we'll grab. We're on his queen, so it's his. He could still take the bishop, and we could take his queen. It's all pretty much a take fest. He's actually gone for taking the knight, so we're going to take with a check and take. So he's owning the file currently with his rook, so we don't like them apples. Small piece attack and high piece, what, this knight, what does this knight want to do? And we want to try and get some ownership of this file ourselves. Okay, let's just attack the knight. We know we like to own the files with the rooks, let's go. Okay, so he's probably going to double up his rook. It's all pretty simple, straightforward. I mean, let's take this knight off the board. Bishop's going to be in a precarious position. Let's grab and then grab. Knight's protecting. There. Does he take or not? Hmm. He's thinking. Ah! That's a bit of an. Im I'm imbalancing the equation. That's what he's actually done because really I think he probably should have just taken the rook now his rook is in the center of the board this is the smallest of detail that's all his rook is in the center of the board now he's going to be struggling to try and get a winning position because his rook is in the center of the board that's all i can say it's the smallest of smallest of details because he's going from side to side he's trying to get some advantage i'm going to just bring the rook back Figure four. Make space. He's actually won a pawn. He's won a pawn, but his position is not good on the board. Our king can come up and get his g pawn. Our rook has got this open file that can work quite nicely. His king isn't in the game at the moment, so he's struggling to find his feet. So now he's got an open file, but his rook hasn't got any purchase. He could go up and down. He could actually go to e e7 and put pressure on the pawns either side because my pawns are. But he's not doing that, so that's okay for us. We have unbalanced the equation. He could still come down with his rug, but he's chose choosing not to. So we can go up and attack. He could move his rook and he could move down and just attack our pawns. But he's not chosen to do that. So now that gives us a moment of time whereby who's going to get promoted first. Looking at the picture, we've got a lovely past pawn that is going to go ramping home. Because his king or his pawn has to do something with our pawns here. Tempo wise, we're further up the board. Better not move too fast. Let's just take this off. So now it's a matter of speed, and our queen is going to get promoted, and we'll be able to put them in a check. Badam. Unbalancing the equation. Smallest of detail. It's the tempo wins. Like I said, the opponent could have come down with his rook and attacked our pawns on the back end. One in, in front of our king and the other side um, grabbing pawns on that side.
but they chose not to do so so let's have a look at the gauge bar see what it's saying for those particular positions so push through the center and we grabbed obviously it's saying you shouldn't have grabbed but hey we grabbed again so it's pretty even Stevens at the moment we grab grab okay so they're holding court nicely with their rook just want to see what the gauge bar shows when we get to where he has the option of coming down with his rook and taking all the pawns so we attack so now the rook is in the center of the board so it's showing even but now they're winning okay so even again now they're winning a bit so it's a bit drawish at the moment slight win to us moving up and down this isn't the point there so now he's a pawn up so in essence it's going to show they're winning because of material but it's, it doesn't take into account position yeah so his rook could have come down at any stage but it's not really showing they're in a big advantage nah oh fair enough yeah i don't think they would have won out if he had done that excellent okay learning to un unbalance the equation and the smallest of tempo count wins speedy pawn 